Okay, we're continuing in Torah Yudabase and Kutiman Tinyana. Okay, we spoke up until now about, uh, about when a person falls down to the lowest places and a person comes to sin, how through the sin itself a person can raise himself up to the highest level. And the type of Kedusha we said that is inside, inside of the sin itself is the highest type of Kedusha. Only the difference is that in a sin, the Kedusha is totally hidden and concealed and that's where the sinners, and that's where the sin itself gets its energy from, the fact that it's concealed. That's what makes it so interesting and so exciting. If, if it weren't so, so concealed, and Hashem was more hidden, the Kedusha was more, uh, was more revealed inside, inside the Averas or inside bad places, then there would be no place for bad people and bad things to exist. They wouldn't, they wouldn't do bad if it was holiness that was revealed there. So the only way that a person can do bad, and the only way that bad places and things can exist, is through Hashem hiding himself and hiding his regular Kedusha, which we said is uh, related to the ten Mamars, the ten sayings that Hashem created the world, which the source of these ten sayings, as we said, is, is ten aspects of Kedusha that are hidden inside these ten sayings. So these uh, ten uh, sayings of, of Kedusha are in, are in regular things, and in Averas, none of the ten sayings exist, except for the highest one, which is called the hidden saying, the Maimar Sosum, the hidden, uh, the hidden uh, saying, the Maimar Bereshis, which is Bereshis. When Hashem said, Bereshis Bar Lakim, when the Torah says, Bereshis Bar Lakim Esar, then uh, Hashem was saying that, uh, the Hashem was saying, creation, creating of the world. In the beginning of the world, there was a Shemaim in the arts. So that, in a sense, is a more hidden type of saying, because it doesn't start off with saying, the Yom HaShem, that Hashem says. So that's, uh, this is the holiness, the holiness of that saying is hidden inside of even of virus, even bad things. So, now we're going to continue where we left off. It starts, uh, at least in my book, it's a paragraph, Al-Kain. Al-Kain, Adam nofel therefore when a person falls to these low places, meaning to the Bechina, to the place, the dirty places that we mentioned before, like Bate Vodazor, like, like uh, priest, like houses of uh, uh, places where, where people serve Vodazor, people do idol worship. And they fall to all sorts of confusion, and all sorts of bad thoughts, and all sorts of, um, all sorts of things that he's not sure about with regards to Hashem, with regards to Kedusha. Then he starts looking at himself. And he sees that he's very far away from the, from the honor of Hashem. And then he says, he says, where is Hashem's honor? He looks at himself, he says, Hashem, where is your honor here? Either you're looking at a, uh, uh, the house of Vodazar, uh, uh, a, a temple of, uh, of uh, idol worship, and you're looking at you saying, Hashem, where is your honor here? This seems to be totally contradictory to your honor. Or you look at yourself and you say, Hashem, I, I just did this there. Like, how, how am I giving honor to you? How am I sustained through your Kedusha? How, is it, how's, how does it happen? Like, where are you? And the person sees that he's far away from the covet of Hashem. Uh, since he fell to such lowly places, Hashem uh, should, should save us from falling to these places. And you should know that this itself, this, uh, this falling and this seeing that recognizing and looking for the covet of Hashem in this fall, that is how he's going to be raised. That is how he's raising himself up. Through in the Avira itself or in the bad place itself, looking and searching for Hashem. Even though, obviously, as we said before, you can't find Hashem there because Hashem is hidden. But the look in, its, in and of itself is, as we're going to explain, connects you to the source, to the highest level of these mamars, the ten sayings that Hashem created the world with, and the ten types of Kedusha that Hashem created the world with. And a person is, through looking, when he does a Mavira, where Hashem is in this Avera, and trying to find Hashem in this Avera, and obviously he's not going to find it, or looking at it even though he is not going to find it. Through that itself, he is connecting himself to the highest level of Kedusha, 
and he's going to raise himself up to high levels of Kedusha. The Bechinus, you read the Tachlis Aliyah, as it says that the Urido is the highest aspect of the Aliyah. Hamavurim by Swarm, as the other, many other Swarm, there are a lot of other Kedusha Swarm, like the Toldos Yaakov, Yosef, which uh, discusses this topic, that a Urida in, in and of itself has very high levels of Kedusha and very... Um, very special things inside of it, so much so that we call the Arita the Apemia, the highest, uh, the highest level of Aliyah. And a person, when you, uh, using the Arita in a proper way, is able to, to, to attain very, very high levels of Kedusha through it, as we're going to explain. Because I am a Kvodo, when a person searches and asks who is Hashem's Kavod, this is the union of the Kavod of the highest aspect of Kavod that we mentioned before, the highest level of Kedusha. Shalom Maimar Elyon, and this Kavod is hidden inside the highest Maimar of Maimar of Maisel Bereshis, the Hainu Maimar Sosum Bereshis Kanal, which is the Maimar Sosum, as we mentioned before, which is Bereshis. Shemisham Nimshach Yus and Kamos And from there, from this level of Kedusha, and from this, this saying, the saying of Bereshis, all of the Kedusha is sustenance and chius and, and life and a life force is given and drawn from here, from this highest level of Kedusha, to the places of Bate of Rezor, places that people do avir, to do avirs and evil things. And it's drawn in such a way that uh, that everything is, that it's very hidden, Kedusha is very hidden, and the that allows a place for the chitzonim, for the... Um, for the Balevirs and for the Vir itself to exist.